In this technical demonstration, we'll examine the reconfiguration of on-prem desktop single sign-on with integrated Windows authentication, or IWA, in an Okta Classic org in order to upgrade that org to OIE. Now, integrated Windows authentication is used for on-prem desktop single sign-on and utilizes IWA routing rules. However, IWA routing rules are not supported in OIE and will have to be removed. As a result, if you plan to utilize desktop single sign-on, you will need to migrate from an on-prem desktop single sign-on to an OIE-supported agentless desktop single sign-on. Now, IWA is also used in cases where desktop device trust is implemented in Okta Classic. And if you plan to maintain this in OIE, IWA agents can still be used for certificate verification and authentication. But IWA routing rules will still have to be deleted. So let's take a look at the configuration and how it will be adjusted for the upgrade to OIE. As you can see here, I'm logged in as an Okta administrator and from the admin console, you can see that the self-service upgrade process is not available. This is due to the fact that we have a technical blocker. That technical blocker is the IWA routing rule that I configured for this org. Now in this example, this feature is no longer going to be used and it simply needs to be disabled. In a future demonstration, we'll go through the process of migrating from the on-prem desktop single sign-on to agentless desktop single sign-on. But for now, we simply need to remove the technical blocker so the upgrade to OIE can be completed. Now, as you work in Okta Classic orgs, you should review the org for on-prem desktop single sign-on as well as desktop device trust, where IWA routing rules may be configured. Now to begin, we'll move to the security menu and click Delegated Authentication. From here, you can see that on-prem desktop single sign-on is currently on. You'll also notice that below the on-prem desktop single sign-on section is an IWA agent section where an agent has been deployed. Now it is very important to remember that you do not have to remove or disable either of these options. The required change in order to upgrade to OIE focuses on the IWA routing rules. It's also important to remember that if you plan to continue using this legacy desktop device trust option after the upgrade to OIE, you'll maintain the IWA agents since the agents are used for certificate verification and authentication. Now that we've identified that on-prem desktop single sign-on is enabled, let's take a look at the routing rules by moving to Identity Providers under the Security menu and clicking Routing Rules. As you can see here, we have an IWA routing rule in place, and this rule, or others like it, will prevent the org from being upgraded to OIE. Now this environment has a small number of routing rules, but in environments where a large volume of rules are configured, you should review each rule and if the rule is using the on-prem desktop single sign-on identity provider, you'll need to remove the rule before upgrading to OIE. So from here, we'll simply delete the IWA routing rule, and once deleted, we'll move back over to our dashboard, and as you can see, the technical blocker has been removed, and the org is now eligible for upgrade.